Hello and welcome to module one of the third course in the Saber certification course. And we're going to learn in this class about programming and data science. And let's start off by just defining what that means and talking a little bit about it, as well as going over a little bit my, my qualifications, why I'm teaching this, and then how I'm going to teach it. I think that's equally important. What the focus is going to be, what the approach is going to be like, and so on. So let's jump into it. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about programming to start with. Um, hopefully, if you're signed up for this course, you have some idea of what programming is, uh, but it's a really big field. It, what you can think of it as at a fundamental level is how to tell computers how to do what you want them to do. Um, and the problem with that is that computers don't speak natural human language, right? The way that we talk, the way that I'm talking to you now is it's messy, it's complicated. There are ums and ahs laced in, there's metaphors. Computers aren't like that, right? They are literal. They are stupid. They don't. Uh, they don't reason or understand what you're telling them. So you have to be extremely precise with how you, you instruct them to accomplish things. And so to do that, what humans have come up with it are sort of new languages to uh, speak to them with that uh, we as humans can understand and that the computers can execute precisely in the way that they execute things. And that's basically what programming is, right? It's that attempt to create a common language to use to speak to computers with. With that definition out of the way, let me give you a little bit of information about myself and why I'm teaching this class. So my name is Rob Arthur. I'm a data scientist and I'm a journalist as well. I've been doing both, the, both these things for about 10 years. Uh, I got my PhD in evolutionary genetics and I focused heavily on bioinformatics. And that's where I learned to code initially. I suppose it goes back even further than that. I was trying to teach myself since college, but that's where I first did it professionally. After my doctorate, after I finished doing that, um, I got a job with ESPN, which was uh, specifically with 538, which is, was at the time part of ESPN. It's a uh, analytics website. And I worked there as a baseball writer. Uh, I worked there for three years and I went after that, uh, so this would be 2018, I went freelance and I started to write more actively for places besides 538, uh, places like Vice News, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Slate, The Ringer. Along the way, I also did a, a number of consulting jobs for a bunch of different companies and nonprofits, including most relevant for what we're talking about today, three major league baseball teams. So. Um, I've been working in and around baseball for about the last 10 years and from both sides of it. Um, on the one side as a data scientist who has worked for front offices and been inside team discussions and on the outside as a journalist covering it um, from the from the fan perspective and um, from the uh, from the perspective of uh, of a sabermetrician and analyst outside the team. 